Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to estimate some volumetric changes when you have beach profiles from two different times at the same location. So I've used some data from Lodholm as an example, and you can see in this chart, here's the blue beach profile from 2003, and you can see in the orange by 2018, the beach has gotten a lot lower. So it's lost quite a bit of height and it's lost quite a bit of volume. Um, one thing you can also see here is that the profile data that were collected in 2018 are a little bit shorter than what we have for 2003. So when we look at the numbers, we're going to have to clean them up a little bit and make sure that we're comparing the loss in height at the same distance for each place. So to do this, I already have the distance and heights calculated for both the 2003 data that those are here on the left and the 2018 data, those are here on the right. So I'm going to um, actually select these, copy them, and I'm going to bring them over to a new sheet. And when I bring them over, I'm actually going to use something called paste special and paste just the values. That way, just the calculated numbers come through instead of having to copy and paste all the data again. So one thing we notice right away is we want to be comparing at the same distance. So comparing the loss and height at distance zero and distance zero. And pretty quickly, we're down here at distance nine. And we can see that we're, there are some extra measurements over here in the 2003 data. Just for this comparison, because we don't have matching data over here on the other side, we're actually going to delete these from the file. Um, there's nothing wrong with them. We just don't have anything to compare them with. So that's going to make it more challenging. And when we looked at the chart, we could also see, and it shows up down here, that the 2003 data were collected on a longer profile. And so just to kind of clean this up again, I'm also going to um, delete those. So now you can see the distances match all the way down. So what we're going to do here is now over in a new column, we're going to find the height difference. And this is going to turn out to be the difference at each um, measurement. And this is going to be in centimeters. We're going to take the most recent height, the 2018 data, and subtract the starting height. And this number comes back as negative because we saw the beach got lower, so there was a volume lost. So what we're going to do down here, we're just going to paste that all the way down. So far, so good. Um, and then to turn this into a volume at each location, we're going to take that height difference. And I'm actually going to transform this by dividing it by 100 um, into meters. So now that's going to be the height difference in meters. We're going to multiply it by 3 because that's the interval. It was a three meter interval. So this is a three meter long box and it's also one meter wide. And that's something I give you the instructions. So we're just looking at this strip of the beach. So now that tells us that at that first measurement location on the profile, it's lost almost a cubic meter. We're gonna copy this all the way down. And so what you're going to get is the volume lost at each measurement location along that profile. And then we're going to be able to find the total volume that was lost along that one meter strip of beach by adding up all of these numbers. These are the how much volume was lost in each little box. And we're going to add that up, and it's going to tell us that the total volume lost was just under 200 cubic meters. Hope this helps.